This video is a continuation of the introduction to math operations. First video, use of variables. We return to the document that we have before. And now we are going to present the idea of using variables with subscripts. In the, the last video, we solved this problem. There's a correction to be made. The time is not 5 meters by 5 seconds. Uh, but this is a figure, so I couldn't edit it in there. And so we we did the definitions and things like v sub zero we just call it v zero and t sub zero t zero. There is an alternative and and we solve this without using units or using units. This is just a repeat from the previous video. And here's an exercise that you may want to try if you want to try that exercise. You want to um, pause this video and follow the instructions in your own SMS to the file. There is a way to use subscripts, and that is by typing a dot between the variable and the subscript. And so when you do v.0, you get this nice v0. And we also did that for t sub 0 right here. It's going to demonstrate here by repeating those results. v.0, 5.2. In this case, I'm not using units, but I could use the, I mean apostrophe M over apostrophe S to give me the either units. And so that's the way to write. So mean this is just add a period between the variable and the subindex. And it says in this example we didn't include the, the units. The sequence variable dot subscript produces a subscripted variable. And you can also use English and Greek letters for example, these are all Greek letters with the subscripts. I'm asking you to do this exercise using subscript, and, and the way that you type that is alpha.s, for example. And so you are welcome to try these results in your own SMS Studio file. To give you an idea, I'm just going to write here the, the expression in a mathematical entry. Do D, control G, uppercase L, uh, and I'm going to use the the uh, assignment operator, colon. Alpha is A, control G, sorry, I jump out of there, I should be back here, dot S, uppercase S, times parenthesis T dot F minus T dot zero. That will give me the delta L, and then I can calculate L F, L dot F colon L uh, dot zero plus D control G L. That's the way to, to write the equations in there is to give you an idea. Using previously defined variables. As we mentioned before, uh, if you define a variable X um, colon 25, you can then uh, redefine that variable by using the semicolon. I'm sorry, the, the column. So if you say x equal, then the value of x is 5.2, whereas down below here, the value of x is 25 because it was defined as 25 over here. You can use that to, to def you can use x to define a function, even though x is not a free variable at this point because it has a, a value. You can use it to define a function of, of x like this and evaluate it in any other value like f of 2 right there, or you can say f of 4, or 3 is already here, and so on. You can use it to insert a plot. To insert the plot, I'm going to demonstrate for you here. Click in an empty space, go to insert, graph. Oh, I, I have to apologize. Let me pause. I had the titles in Spanish, so we've got to go for inst uh, Click somewhere else in the, in the worksheet, do insert plot 2D, and then in the placeholder down here, write f of x. That's going to provide a uh, graphic of f of x that you can manipulate in by dragging up the vertex of the parabola up. If you, hold, if you click on the graphic, hold the shift key, and move the mouse wheel forward, then it will give you a more detailed variation of the, of the function. The solve function is used to solve equations. The expression here for the for the function, if you use an a Boolean equal sign, which is available right here, equal to zero, then basically you're creating an equation. I'm going to repeat the solution here. 
solve parentheses f of x space bar then use the the boolean equal sign you can click it from here equals zero comma x equals and it'll give me my two roots of that equation the the expression that i'm solving is this one x squared minus 2.5 i'm going to copy from here control c and repeat my solution down here by saying solve Parenthesis, control V, control equal to give me the Boolean equal sign, comma X, is exactly the same because you are replacing the expression X squared minus 22.5 with F of X since that's the definition we use for the function up here. With that, I conclude this second video on an introduction to variables and expression for the introduction to mathematical operations in SMAS Studio.